Hello, happy Sunday. Guess where I am at? Oh my gosh, it feels so strange to be back here because it really hasn't been long and like some of my lab mates aren't even back from vacation yet. We moved off campus too, so now being on campus, like as soon as I got on campus, I was like, this feels more like home. So, a few things to update. I am so stressed. Like yesterday, I was just like in the worst mood ever because I got revisions back from my Maya script and there's this big animal study that I need to plan and obviously I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm working now so I have to plan everything but then I don't have enough material to make my nanoparticles so I'm here now today to get started on one reaction so that I can somehow come in and like do the work up and stuff and then on Friday I got revisions back for my thesis and <laughs> One of the committee members totally tore apart my introduction and I was not expecting that at all. Honestly, my bad for not expecting that. Like I should be expecting some revisions obviously for my thesis. It's not gonna be perfect on the first round and that's the whole point of sending it to my committee members. But like I don't have that much time. It's already like the first week of January is already done and I have to submit my thesis to the UBC people so that they can submit it to my external examiners by the end of the month. Okay, I'm gonna grab my stuff and then I'll explain what the heck I'm doing today. Okay, okay so first I am going to check the size of these particles. I have a few particles that I am hoping are still usable. I highly doubt it, but if they're actually good for some reason, then that will really save me the hassle of making and synthesizing more stuff. Someone's already using my bed. I think this is John. After I check the size of these, I'm going to get back of my inventory, see where I need to synthesize. There's just so many loose ends to tie up, I feel like. Oh no, it's not working again. Oh, the tips. Okay, be right back again. Yeah, like actually today my partner is on campus doing stuff too So like I took a ride with him and hopefully I can finish by the time he finishes up Honestly, I was just planning to do synthesis But now that I'm here, I want to do like a bazillion other things to like get everything in order Okay, ah! I'm gonna put you down Oh my gosh, the sizes actually look fine I think What the heck? They're still good. They still look good. So that changes things because then I don't have to synthesize, right? Because then I'm just gonna recheck the concentration I'm using the plate reader in the other lab. And then I think I can just leave it for injection. So I didn't make these that long ago and the stability of these particles are really good. Am I really not gonna have to make it? Okay, let's not speak too soon. I'm gonna filter them check the concentration and then we'll see okay 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 i'm like scared to get excited because if these actually are good which they look good so far and i don't have to synthesize it'll be so much easier to do these revisions because then i just have to leave instructions on when to inject and then these are, these are ready to go, so that would be freaking perfect. I don't want to say anything, honestly. I don't want to jinx anything. Okay, let's, let's just do this together, and then we will see. Right now, I'm just loading my nanoparticles onto the syringe so that I can filter them through this thing. Just filter here to get rid of any gunk or anything that's causing the particle to be less uniform in size. Yay for highly stable particles. These were unstable. I definitely have to make them again. Look good. They look good. Okay. I'm gonna go prepare the other samples for the sizing. And while that's sizing, I'm going to make a calibration curve to check the concentration. <laughs> I have my calibration curve and my samples unloaded. I'm gonna go across the hall and run this. 
Okay, so I checked the concentration and it changed. Ah, uh, so I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have enough to do three mice. So I think I should still synthesize or start the synthesis. Yeah, I don't know. I have to think. Synthesis isn't even gonna be that difficult because I'm just gonna be weighing stuff out and adding it. And I have my spreadsheet and everything. But I won't finish in time for my partner to come pick me up. Uh, okay, okay, I need to think about this. I need to think about this. I'll be right back. Okay, I have decided I'm just gonna quickly do the reaction and then I will come sometime next week to work up the reaction. So I weighed out everything already into these vials here. So thank goodness everything is still where it is and I have like my spreadsheets and stuff ready to go. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hydrate these, put it into the round bottom flask, my partner is almost done where he's at, so let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, I finished it, it's right there. My partner is waiting. I'm done. I will work this up in a few days. Bye. Hello, happy Tuesday. I am at home. It is almost noon and I have been awake since 4 a.m. Because when I'm stressed, I just wake up super freaking early and I just want to like start. Like I just want to start whatever I'm stressed out about. I guess what I'm stressed out about? My freaking thesis. Okay, so I feel like I didn't properly explain what the heck is going on in my life right now when I was vlogging on Sunday when I was like in the lab and just like rushing, rushing to like do my experiments and stuff. A few things going on. So obviously i have started working full time at the company it has been fabulous i have been having such a great time there and like the internship really helped me kind of like you know get used to everything and like just get going on on working and you know how happy i am to just be back in the lab and just like away from any type of like writing i had kind of like a, a mini breakdown at work yesterday because of my thesis i submitted my thesis in december uh, right before I left for the holidays and my committee members didn't really have a chance to look at it until recently so for my thesis to be ready and available and able to be submitted to UBC so that UBC can send it out to my external examiner I have to get approval from my committee members and I wasn't anticipating this is silly of me obviously I think this is really silly of me editing my other vlog like I realized how naive I was in thinking that by kind of like officially starting at work that I'll be done with my PhD that is definitely not the case there are a lot of loose ends to tie up one including the thesis because now I have a buttload of revisions to go through and I had a breakdown yesterday because you know, there's a hard deadline. There's a hard deadline for me to submit my thesis, which is January 28th. I have to have it in for me to make all of the deadlines to graduate on time. And if I'm working full time, nine to five, Monday to Friday, I only have time before work and after work and on the weekends. And I thought that I could do it, but just the, the sheer number of edits that I have to make to this freaking huge ass document, it is not feasible to do that. Thank you. God for my company because like my company hired me in really good relationship with Dr. Lee, my boss, and one of the conditions for hiring was that like they'll be flexible with my PhD graduation timeline. And obviously like I need to get my PhD, right? Like otherwise nobody wins. They're like very aware of what's going on, how stressed out I am, and they suggested I take just one day today to see how much I can do because I've been working on this since I received the comments back, which was on Friday. I've been working on this since Friday evening and um, yeah, I, I think I've made a dent now but you know, trying to cram it in before or after work was just, it's just too much and I, I was not doing well. Yeah, on top of that, like juggling revisions like because the revisions for my manuscript which I didn't even properly explain so I submitted two manuscripts, right? One manuscript has been rejected a 
bunch of times. I don't even know how many times. And finally, we submitted it to a journal that didn't reject it right away. Actually, I think I think it went through one round of revisions already. Because usually when you submit it to a journal, they can reject it right away or they can send it to reviewers and then they reject it. So I think it got rejected once after having it sent out to reviewers. But then now this journal, it got sent to the reviewers and they want to see an additional toxicity and biodistribution study. So that's an animal study, a full-blown animal study and so oh i don't know if you heard my stomach i'm so hungry that's good because it didn't get rejected and there's a higher chance that it'll get accepted now because none of the reviewer comments were super harsh it was mostly just like oh, we want to see more of this so I'm obviously not able to do animal experiments. I've been communicating with the new postdocs in the lab and with the previous postdoc in the lab to just basically like do this for me. But in terms of the synthesis and the nanoparticle formation stuff, like I still need to be there to do it or to train someone to take over for me because that wasn't properly passed on at the end of the year last year. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. And I had a hard time figuring out what my priorities are and everything was just in my brain and I just, I just, it was too much. So now that I have a day to just kind of like collect myself, I feel a lot better but I'm so tired. I just got off like a two hour group meeting with the, with my new company. So I'm gonna take a break and then continue to write. But just wanted to hop on and update my status and laugh at past Anne for thinking that. I was in the clear. Like, ah, do not do that. When you are in this stage, be prepared for revisions. Be prepared for lots of challenges from your committee member challenging like your thesis, which is all fair. It's all definitely fair. And I have to remind myself that these comments are helping me prepare for my defense, even though it is really difficult right now because I just wanted it out of my hands. It's good for me in the long run. And yeah, revisions are a good thing for a manuscript too. Ah, <gasps> okay, I'm gonna go have my lunch. I'll cuddle this guy a little bit a lot <laughs> we're back to this we're back to writing with a doggo in arm and i'll check in with you later <gasps> bye hello happy thursday i'm finally back at work i don't even know what clips i feel like I'm, i think i'm wearing the same emotional sweater because this accurately represents where my brain is at right now i took two days off of work because I just couldn't focus on my thesis in the amount of time that I was given. I finished addressing the comments that I got from one of my committee members and that was a lot. That was like a lot. I basically rewrote my whole introduction and I sent it back to him yesterday. He hasn't even sent me the rest of the thesis yet. This is just the introduction so I'm anticipating even more comments but the deadline to submit is quickly approaching so <laughs> and I there's just all this drama with the referencing because I switched my laptop. I was working on a Dell before and now I'm working on a Mac and like I think the references didn't properly transfer over and it's just all screwed up and I spent hours yesterday just trying to figure it out but I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, fresh start to the day. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna finish this thesis and I will keep you posted on this whole process. I'm gonna go get to work and i will see you in the next one bye